Let's talk about Wegovy. I am just starting out on my Wegovy journey. I'm on week one and I have a few things I like and a few things I don't. So first and foremost, if you don't know what Wegovy is, it is a medication manufactured by a company called Novo Nordisk and it is classified as a GLP-1 agonist, also called semaglutide. You might recognize that name because Novo Nordisk manufactures a medication called Ozempic, which is all over the internet right now for celebrities and social media influencers who are using it quite a lot and we're not going to get too much into that but all you need to know about this is that Wegovy is FDA approved for weight loss and Ozempic is FDA approved for diabetic insulin resistance use cases. So I found out about Wegovy when I was looking at information about Ozempic on reddit in r slash Ozempic and I saw some people commenting about Wegovy and Manjaro and some other medications that kind of fall in that same class. I started doing some of my own research and realized Wegovy would probably be a good fit for me. One, because my insurance covers it. Two, because it's FDA approved for weight loss specifically. And three, because it has implications beyond just weight loss, helping with addiction type behaviors, which it's not currently approved for that. But it's interesting to me because I'm someone who has ADHD and struggles with addictive behaviors when it comes to just compulsive kinds of activities that give me dopamine in the moment. I have lost significant amounts of weight before, but it's not without huge sacrifice such as cutting out an entire macro like carbs and doing excessive exercise. So it's not a maintainable process for me to follow what normally people say, which is you see go, just calories in, calories out, eat less, move more. For me, it does work, but I have to take it to an extreme level to see any kind of results. I have comorbidities beyond just being overweight, and that's PCOS and ADHD. I also struggle with complex trauma, and I'm not a doctor by any means, but there are implications beyond just mental health that impact our bodies and it makes it harder for us to lose weight when we're in people who have experienced complex trauma and early childhood events that have impacted our development. So how did I end up getting Wegovy? I actually ended up getting Wegovy through a telehealth provider right off the bat because I wasn't working with my primary care physician anymore. I had decided to part ways just because I need a more integrative approach right now and I'm still looking for a good fit. So I decided to go the telehealth route and I went with a company called Row, and they have a body program centered around semaglutide so they can prescribe several different medications within that classification, but they do prescribe Wegovy. That process took me about two weeks, so they actually did the prior authorization for my insurance, which was required to just say like, I meet all these requirements. One of them was that my BMI had to be greater than 30, which it was, so I am technically clinically obese. I have also struggled with my weight and I've tried traditional methods and there were a few other criteria that I needed to meet. That was all done and I was able to order my prescription through Amazon Pharmacy, which took about three days to get to me. So I was super excited. I was like a kid on Christmas as soon as the medication arrived. I opened it and everything was packed in like cooling packs, so expect that when you receive it, it should be packed accordingly. It doesn't have to be refrigerated 24 7. I believe it can stay out of the fridge for something like 28 days, but you should use it within that time frame or refrigerate it if you're not going to be able to use it. So I did the injection and I was so terrified of injecting myself with anything because I'd never done it before. And it comes in this pen that has like a pen cap, and like you take the pen cap off and then you press down, and you can see some videos on YouTube. But you press down in either your thigh, your abdomen, or your upper arm. Um, I chose to do in the abdomen. First I was going to do thigh and then I was just too scared because I felt like it was going to hurt more. Um, but I did the lower abdomen. Once I psyched myself up to do it, I didn't even feel it and it was fine. So that was done and within about an hour I started to kind of feel mild side effects. So like a little bit of nausea. To be fair, I didn't eat anything when I took it. So I think that also has something to do with it. I get kind of nauseous if I don't eat and I take medications, but I haven't had any food. 
so it's just something with me but beyond that i wasn't experiencing any extreme nausea or fatigue or any of the side effects that people report what i did notice on the plus side is at dinner that night so my boyfriend had made us dinner and he normally makes like about the same amount of food for both of us which probably makes sense for a size my body is now but not for where i want to be so he made burgers and he made like two of them and i ate one and normally i'm a person who like needs to eat all of the food on my plate so i ate the first burger and then he also had made like mashed potatoes on the side so i ate like a couple bites of mashed potatoes and i was done and like i had a whole other burger on my plate and like a, a lot of mashed potatoes left and i was just like i'm not hungry like i don't feel hungry i didn't eat to the point of sickness which is common for me and i just didn't feel hungry and it was so strange it was like for once in my life i felt at peace with food i didn't have what people have described as food noise which is constantly thinking about food like fixating on food like for me like food is a big source of dopamine so for the adhd side of things i just i'm always thinking about food i'm always wanting food and then once i start eating it it's really hard for me to stop so this was just like night and day and i could have cried i just thought like this is life-changing and even on just the small dose on the first day i'm feeling this experience and they do say on the website like the medication starts working immediately but you might not feel effects until the higher doses for me immediate some people might say okay it's a placebo effect but hey placebo effect or not it's working for me so let's talk about some of the frustrations that i've had and some things that i didn't like throughout this process the medication itself i love i'm happy with i have nothing negative to say about it right now that might change as i go on stronger doses and if i experience side effects we'll talk about that in future videos my frustrations are surrounding the pharmacy process and the prescribing process and the shortage around this medication that is currently ongoing. So at the time of making this video, we are in June of 2023 and there is currently a shortage for Wecovi in the lower dosages, which are the 0 0.25, 0 0.5, and the 1.0. Now, normally folks start out on the 0.25 and then they move up a dose every four weeks. What's happening right now because of the shortage is people are trying to skip doses or double up their doses or do whatever they need to some people are taking it to extremes because i and i understand that i'm empathetic with that and i want to preface this by saying like do what you need to do but some people are going even to the point of reaching out to compound pharmacies which will make this prescription um which is not the manufacturer it's just an independent pharmacy that will make this prescription they might add something to it to make it like not quite intellectual property legal implications and then people are injecting themselves with this compounded medication and if you choose to go that route i'm not here to say that's a good idea or not um, for me i prefer to go the directly from the manufacturer prescribed by a doctor and I think, I mean, compounded ones have to be prescribed by a doctor too, but um, just being overseen by a doctor is important to me. But the frustration, obviously, it's hard to get that medication right now. Um, the only reason I was able to get it was because Amazon had it, and I've seen so many posts about it on Reddit, on different forms of social media, just folks talking about it being really difficult to get. I originally had tried to go through a Walgreens, and it was... A whole mess so don't recommend Walgreens sorry to Walgreens but y'all need to get it together <laughs> because it was a mess I had to order it and they said they didn't have it and then they were they said they were gonna order it but they didn't tell me they were gonna order it and then I had to go in person to find out that yes they had ordered it but they didn't have an estimate for when it would be delivered and then oh a mess so I actually had them cancel the order so that I could transfer it to Amazon and that my insurance would cover it. I don't recommend going with Walgreens. I've heard some people have had luck with Costco. If you're going to go the traditional pharmacy route, otherwise I definitely recommend Amazon Pharmacy. Another thing was trying to find doctors who are knowledgeable about semaglutide, having to go through the telehealth route. I don't think there's an issue with it ultimately, but 
for me personally, I prefer to have a more close relationship with my doctor and I want them to understand all of my medical history and the whole picture of my health. So ultimately I'm going to be looking for that. I'm looking for care providers who are well informed about the medication, how it works and are willing to prescribe it, understanding my needs. I've already seen how important it's become for people and it's just going to grow in impact over time um, as they make it more accessible. I've learned that the manufacturer is working on a pill form instead of an injectable. So that's going to make it more accessible for people who can't do injections on their own or who are averse to it or who it might be too strong for. And that's really exciting. I think that'll make it probably cheaper to manufacture as well. So it will make it more accessible to more people, which is so exciting. Thanks so much for watching. And if you're also on your WeGoGo journey, make sure to subscribe to me here and we can connect and do this together. I'll see you in the next one.